Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how I light a fire. I know um, it's called the top down fire lighting method and I know a lot of you use it already and I'm always banging on about it so sorry if I sound like a stuck record. Um, I love seeing your photos of all your top down fires and I thought I'd just make a video here to yeah try and spread the word that this is the only way to light a fire if you've got enough room to do it so what you need to do is get yourself some really good wood um by good i mean kind of dry super dry this is kiln dried oak and i love the way it smells it's really sweet um so you need to start with a really good base layer of big logs so i've got these two here that are nice and solid i'm just going to turn them so I find their most kind of solid angle and then on top of those we're going to put again nice and flat just sort of working out where the most solid position is it's all about stability this uh, fire lighting method so I think kind of like that probably um, and then on top of that some little bits I just split down some logs this morning to kind of make all the sizes I want and it's pretty easy to do some smaller bits what have we got in my pile kind of four like that probably I think that's about, about good enough and then another layer you can basically make this as high as you want depending on how big a fire you want to light I'm just going to cook some pancakes for my kids this morning so I don't need a massive fire so that's my top layer and then finally um, as kindling, I'm just going to use some bits of bark that I split off the logs. So I'll pop those on top. So one of the really important things with this kind of fire lighting method, in fact any fire lighting method, is the um, that you have allow enough air and oxygen to flow through the fire because because fire needs air. It's kind of part of the kind of combustion tri triangle. Um, so yeah, you need airflow to get through there. To make it work so you need to line up all your layers so you've got some nice kind of gaps going through uh, and it's not all too squashed together one of the reasons people kill their fires is that they the, the temptation is to kind of prod it and poke it and kind of fiddle with it and i, I kind of get that because it's it's really lovely kind of poking a fire but um actually that's going to kill a lot of fires because you're kind of squashing it down and breaking down those air gaps so i've got my kindling there just lining it up so I know I've got space between it. And then onto that, this is the magic. Oh, my cat's just about to come through. Go away, you're gonna get burnt. Go on, <laughs> sod off. Um, this is a natural fire lighter. So it's just a little twist of wood shavings dipped in wax. So you just pop that on the top. I'm gonna put it towards the front so you can see it. <clears throat> and this is the magic bit. I hope I don't mess this up. One match and you just light that fire lighter and let it burn. I'm going to switch my camera now to a time lapse view so you can see what happens and then I'll come back at the end and explain what you just saw. Right, so I actually had to stop my time lapse um, a tiny bit before it had burnt all the way to the bottom because I was a bit worried about melting my camera. It was uh, it was pretty wild that fire. Um, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning I had to kind of come in and just blow it, blow on it at the top on the fire lighter just a little bit. That's because it's a really still day today. Um, and it just wasn't quite getting going so just a few little puffs of air just to give an extra sort of hit of oxygen um, and that that was enough to kind of get it going and then all of a sudden boom it went so um the principles of a top-down fire it's super hot here now 
Um, the principles of a top-down fire is that you light the fire lighter um, and then that catches the kindling, in this case uh, the oak bark, and then the oak bark catches fire and the embers of that drop down and light the next layer and then the embers of that next layer drop down so the whole fire kind of works its way down um, which is kind of counterintuitive I didn't invent this fire lighting method by the way it's um, I read about it on the internet years and years ago and I remember thinking that's kind of crazy because you you start a fire at the bottom and you make it bigger and bigger and that's kind of how I was taught to light fires years and years and years ago um, but I gave it a go and I've never lit a fire any other way now and I'm not sure I'm not sure why you would want to um, if you've got space to build this sort of lovely stack you know it's it's absolutely the best way of um, of lighting a fire so yeah top down fire method uh, try it at home send me your pictures tag me in it's Genevieve Eats and uh, yeah I'd love to see how you get on